Welcome back, Freedom Fighters. Hell Divers has dropped their own balancing patch today. It's basically an overhaul to the weapons and support weapons, and a few fixes. Some environmental features may slow us down as we spread freedom throughout the galaxy, but that won't stop us. Anyway, I'm here to break down the major changes and a few opinions in it. Let's get right to it. So first, let's talk about planetary hazards. Well, it's exactly what it says. Random weather changes and a few calamitous events. Meteors, tornadoes, that's what it says. But so far, what we have experienced is just tremors and a night and day cycle. Although I am not 100% sure if it was an actual night and day cycle or just a lighting issue, because we've had that before. So feel free to let me know in the comments if you have experienced having a night and day cycle in your games. There is no way to tell what uh, weather conditions are coming your way so do keep an eye for that it does add a little spice and a little bit of fun in your game so good luck second eradicate missions I am guilty of this I did a lot of eradicate missions to boost myself and my teammates way faster than we're supposed to be just because it's easier and it gives so much reward for the amount of work done now, you can't really do that. I mean, maybe you can, but it's a little bit harder since you have to destroy a lot more enemies and the topography of the map is way more favored towards the enemy because you're not into the high ground. So you can't really crutch on your mortar thingies now. So, yeah. For me, it's, it's, it's a good patch. It's a good, it's a good adjustment because, honestly, it felt cheesy. It felt cheesy. It felt like I was cheating. I didn't feel like I was playing the game well enough. And I sincerely apologize if... Or I feel sorry for the guys who did it legit. Leveled up legit and had to go through a lot of teammates who were high level but didn't know how to do the objectives on the other campaigns. And I'm sorry. And we, I am part of the problem. So I hope people catch up now. Okay, let's go to the best one yet, in my opinion. They've fixed armor rating values. So now you have the freedom to use whatever armor you want. Personally, I love using heavy armor. I love being the bruiser or the heavy bulky guy on games like this. So um, this is a really plus for me because before, if you didn't know, the armor rating was bugged. It, does, it didn't matter what armor you used. Uh, light, heavy, the armor rating was fixed. So there was no point slowing yourself down if the armor rating didn't increase anyway. But now that it's fixed, if you're on light armor, you are a lot squishier, but yeah, you are fast. For medium, it's a balance of both. For heavy, it's uh, you're slower, but you can, ta you can tank a lot more hits. So for me, this is a very good fix. This is the biggest one yet, so let's try to speed run through this. Hope you get it fast enough, so I don't want to waste your time. Let's get right to it. The SG-225 Breaker, uh, it has been nerfed. Honestly, I think uh, they should have just buffed the other ones, but here we are. Uh, I think it's still really strong on its own right. The recoil change is not... Uh, it's just a tiny bit of con inconvenience for me because on PC, recoil is not really much of an issue, if you ask me. Uh, the biggest the downside or the biggest nerf for me, maybe, is the um, magazine capacity because you can't spam down biles or spewers uh, easier than before. Right now, you just you actually have to hit your shots. Uh, before, it was like more of a brain-dead approach. Um, overall, I think it's still really strong. It's just not as strong as before. Okay, so the Punisher, the first shotgun that everyone could get, and the Warbond. There's not much to say about this gun. This gun has always been strong. They just made it even stronger with more ammo and more damage. And also, it has stopping power now. So it knocks back mediums, which is really good against soldiers and such. Um, sadly, it doesn't have the armor penetration as same as the Slugger does, but... Then again, it would be moot to use a slugger if 
the Punisher has one too. So that's it. The Breaker Spray and Pray. Well, the buffs are really good. Honestly, it feels like this might be my new go-to shotgun if I do say so myself. It is a really good wave clearing shotgun now. Like I used it uh, in some of my games earlier and holy hell was I mowing down through some hordes. Obviously the damage is a little bit lackluster when it comes to like the soldiers and stuff. It doesn't really kill them as quick as the breaker does. But be with the increased rate of fire, with more ammo, it, it feels like it, it makes up for it. So I do suggest you give it a try. The spray and pray right now is kind of uh, it's kind of nutty. It's really strong. Uh, I wouldn't say like it's S tier above there. You know, we, uh, I don't want to say things like it's the best gun right now, but it feels so much better than before. Uh, it deserved the buff, and I think these buffs uh, give it a place uh, on the player's hands. The railgun nerfs, I think this the damage just you know the, it, it, it pulled it down a notch you can't penetrate armors now without going to unsafe mode but then again maybe most of us are using it on unsafe mode anyway because you know hell divers ain't no pussies so um the major nerf for me is the damage i found myself shooting titans where we used to shoot it to two shot or three shot it even to put it down but now it just takes i don't know i didn't even kill it to be honest so maybe i i'm not aiming right i don't know but before i used to take down titans with two to three shots but now it i just didn't kill one uh until my teammate opened the uh, its flesh to kill it so well the railgun is now not the best option for killing titans so it opens up a whole new avenue of loadouts for people. I think Arrowhead is going on for uh, team play because now it, it, they enhance the crit multiplier or the weak spot multiplier. So before you can just solo everything with a railgun, but now you actually have to like ask your teammate to open up their weak spots with an anti-tank or anti-armor before you can actually take them down, which I kind of approve. Um, Helldivers is more fun with friends anyway, or with teammates. So, yeah. Uh, welcome to your new hell, buddy. Now, this one is really good. The Flamen Vafa. The flamethrower. They increased the damage per second by 50%. It can cook chargers, my friend. Let me tell you what. This is very strong right now. You don't have to do anything fancy to the chargers. You don't have to strip their armor. You just literally just prance around, burn them, yell freedom. Uh, that's it. You win. So we tried using it to the Titans, against the Titans. Unfortunately, the Titans are way too tanky and way too big of a threat when it gets close. It can spit on you. It can step on you. Uh, I think you can do it. You can't cook him, but it's just way tougher than the charger to do. But, you know, as hell divers, we do everything for democracy. So go and charge everything in with the flamethrower. Now, the last but not the least, the laser. They buffed this cannon thingy. Uh, it's kind of meh. It does deal damage to enemies when they're under crit points a lot. We tried it. We had a charger stripped their armor. Well, they didn't strip their armor. We stripped their armor. And uh, the laser did a quick job with it. Uh, I don't know the exact numbers for the multipliers, but it does kill them very quickly. The Vital Titan too. Unfortunately, I don't have footage. Uh, my recording fucked up earlier. But the um, it does kill them really fast if you're shooting the crits with the, um, with the laser compared to other weapons that we have tried. Uh, it doesn't destroy armor, if that's what you're wondering. It doesn't destroy heavy armor. You can open crates with it, though. Uh, it has medium armor penetration. Uh, you can kill hive guards with it, while you, know, you don't have to shoot their uh, weak spot. You can just shoot their head. Um, 
other than that, there's not much to say about this gun. It's pretty decent, but I wouldn't say it's it's uh, it's the best. So that's it. That's the major changes that I think that would affect your gameplay a lot. Uh, there are other changes, obviously. There are fixes. If you want a more detailed information of the patch, you can join the Discord. I will put the Discord link of the official Helldivers in the um, description down below. You may join that if you haven't already. Uh, this is just an overview. Uh, hopefully, the Arrowhead keeps on throwing us more patches the updates are coming soon mechs a lot of stuff very excited for it i uh, hope you guys would still stay and keep on playing with us keep on spreading democracy and uh that's it i'll see you guys soon and keep on spreading freedom helldivers